Today we have a clinic with uh, vision impaired golfers from Blind Golf South Australia, but it's also a chance for us to sort of celebrate Dr Hander's involvement in blind golf, which sort of stems over 30 years now. So the idea is to get the word out there as much as we can, just trying to create awareness of the pathways that are there for people that are vision impaired. I've been playing since my early 20s. Um, I started playing par 3 with uh, some friends who invited me out and it just stuck. I have my opera retinitis pigmentosa, uh, which means that I have deteriorated peripheral vision and my distance vision isn't great, so I've, I'm still really lucky to have the vision that I do have. Just the enjoyment and, you know, the social interaction. We had some impairment, a simulated glasses from Vision Australia, and they represent a few different impairments, so we can actually put those on and take away someone's central vision, or we can also uh, take away their peripheral vision. Um, or we've also got some blackout glasses. They just get a bit of a sense of what it's like to be vision impaired with, uh, and hitting some shots, so it was, it was great to have them hit some shots with the glasses on. The yellow goggles look a little bit silly, but it gives you a really good insight into what someone with a vision impairment would have to put up with uh, when they go to play golf. And to see them out here taking up the challenge is wonderful. It's really that level of listening, so understanding what their conditions are, things that they can and cannot do, and then applying that information to just finding the best way possible for them to you know, make a contact with the, with the golf ball. With the, uh, the vision impaired, you're using a lot of uh, feel kinesthetics, so you really got to get in there and um, help them feel the leading edge, making contact with the ground. At the end of the day, if they're having a laugh and a giggle, then I know that they're having fun, I'm having fun, and, um, and that's what it's all about. It's just a good opportunity to get, uh, get out to the fantastic venue here at Royal Adelaide and promote blind golf.